Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled, Why is the Holiest Place in the World Called the Azara? So those of us who are familiar with the Beit HaMikdash area, you have the Har Habayit area, that's on the other side of the Kotel, within the four walls that surround that area. Somewhere there we have the Har Habayit, then you have the Chel, the rectangular area that surrounds the uh, Ezrat Nashim and the Azara, then you have the Ezrat Nashim has more Kedusha, then you have the Ezra, the Azara area, which includes the Kodesh Kadashim, the Kodesh, the Hechel area, and the Rambam describes all of this in the first chapter in Beit HaBechira, and he says that area is called Azara and also called the Mikdash. The Arach, one of the most prominent Rishonim, the ten hundreds, right after the Golden period, he wrote his incredible work, the Arach, explaining so many words and the sources all the way back in Tanakh and the etymology and what each word means. He writes, why is it called Azara? So he writes in his compendium, the Aruch, that Azar is based on the Pasuk in Tehillim, which says, Ezra Bitzarot. The Pasuk says, Ezra Bitzarot, in Tehillim Mem Vav Pasuk Bet, talks about Hashem being Ezra Bitzarot. Hashem is our helper in the time of Tzarot, meaning we call out Hashem from the Azara. He answers us. And it's so important to know this concept. Because as time went on, 2,000 years we have to make dash, where some of us just don't think we dive, we do lip service, you've got to make a make dash, and etc. And we talk about it. I don't know how many of us really do that much and care about the Migdash and miss the Migdash. And we dive in our shuls, which is beautiful, and our base measures is beautiful. We go to Kevin Rochel. I love Kevin Rochel. Some go to Breslov and they inspired over there. Some go to Kivrit Tzadikim and it's all good. Not against anyone doing things as long as it's luckily fine and it inspires the person. Great. But sometimes we forget about the most inspirational place in the world where it's called from the Torah, from Amasora, the place where Hashem helps you out. Call to Him. The Gemaras also talk about the efficacy of Tfilot in the area right near the Azar in the Harabayit area, where that's also a very meaningful place to David. And when Shlomo Melech spoke in his in his in Melachim, when he spoke to God, when he David for the Migdash to fulfill its purpose in Perkei Vav Zayin Chet, it should be a place where Hashem accepts everyone's Tfilot. So a person could continue to go into every place in the world that inspires him or her. And may Hashem answer everyone's tefillot. But let's not forget. There's only one place that is the true and most holy makom. Favodas Hashem and Fatfila. And that's the Azara the highest level, and right next door to it, Tara Bayit. May there be a drisha, a want, a desire in Klai Yisrael to want to have this back. Tiff and she taught on how we're going to get it back. Is it going to be just through tefillah, nice and tovim? Is it through a proactive approach? Another discussion. But either way, let it be a place that we yearn for, according to all she taught. We must yearn for it. And then, and maybe only then, after we yearn for each one in his or her own way, will we get true Ezra, help from Hashem, when we return to the Azara. Shalom.